This is the Iowa Weather Report for Sunday, June the 2nd, 2013. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have the storm system and the upper level system off into Ontario or Western Ontario. Another system moving into the Pacific Northwest. A bit of a wavy pattern across the middle part of the country. That'll be taking the showers and thunderstorms well to our east across the eastern seaboard with some backwash showers across the Great Lakes down and into the Ohio Valley. But it'll be quite cool today. Highs in the 60s near 70 with plenty of sunshine. Monday looks to be the same way with a little bit of increased cloudiness toward the afternoon with the next storm system approaching. Highs may be a degree or two warmer, mid 60s to lower 70s, maybe some mid 70s in southwest Iowa. As we head to Tuesday, that storm system begins to move in. Some showers and thunderstorms will be possible, especially along and west of Interstate 35, maybe east of Interstate 35 by the evening and into the overnight hours with temperatures in the upper 60s to mid 70s. That looks to continue here on Wednesday with a threat of showers and thunderstorms with a low pressure center down in West Texas. There could be some severe weather with this, but we'll have to wait and see. And there could be a tropical system also in the eastern Gulf of Mexico that will be slowly moving north toward Florida. Around here, though, we still have a shot, an isolated shot at some showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two with temperatures a couple degrees either side of 70, maybe lower to middle 70s depending on sunshine. Friday, that system begins to move a little bit further to the south and east as that tropical low, maybe a tropical depression or a storm, moves across Florida and is off the Georgia coast at that point. With temperatures here slightly cooler, around 70, but then you notice the front moves south and then it's coming back through the plains again with more showers and thunderstorms, especially here on Saturday across mainly the Sioux land and up into the Dakotas and into the Plain states. And a week from today, that system with the energy begins to move across our area as a ridge builds over the south and west. But with this northwesterly flow aloft, that's going to keep temperatures at or below seasonal levels. And it looks like here next Sunday, we'll have some showers and thunderstorms around and temperatures likely around 70, maybe a little warmer or cooler, depending on how much cloud cover we do see here on Sunday next week. So we'll have to wait and see on future model runs for that. A couple days after that, on June the 13th, we have another piece of energy moving across this fairly zonal flow across the country. We have one piece across New England, the one, as I said, over our neck of the woods. And with that, that could bring some showers and thunderstorms as well. Maybe an MCS, as the model is indicating here over the Dakotas into Minnesota. So we'll have to wait and see on if that pans out. And here at the end of the forecast here on June the 17th, well, that indicates hot weather. A 594 ridge over New Mexico into Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, and that extends all across the Plain States. We still have a slight northwesterly flow around here, so we may see maybe a ring of fire type thing where we get some showers and thunderstorms developing over the Dakotas and they sweep southeastward, but it does look like it'll warm back up, maybe 80s at this point, if this was to pan out. The satellite image from last evening showed a complex of showers, showers and thunderstorms across Mississippi, Arkansas, into Louisiana, and to Texas. We had some cloudiness across the northern Rockies, some across the Great Lakes, and into eastern Canada. The watch warning map from last evening, we had a severe thunderstorm watch at the time over the hill country of West Texas. We had some flood issues across northern Maine, all across Missouri, Oklahoma, and into Illinois, and a frost advisory in northeastern Minnesota. The QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, showing rainfall amounts around here could be anywhere, anywhere between about a quarter to maybe three quarters of an inch, maybe some isolated heavier totals in any thunderstorms.